if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and my channel name is dr javed ikbal kokar lectures on thank you very much hello everyone i am dr javed ikbal kokar professor of forensic medicine and toxicology and as we are discussing thanatology this is the continuation of the fourth lecture and in this lecture we will be discussing early changes so the learning objective of this lecture is that we will learn what are the early changes which appear after death and they are the contact flattening cooling of the body because the body has to cool after death and post mortem staining that is the capillomenous engorgement which appear after death we will discuss that then rigor mortis so these are the changes which appear early after death and in this lecture i will be discussing contact flattening in detail and will start my discussion on cooling of the dead body so i will also be discussing in this lecture how the cooling progresses progression of cooling in the dead body so st starting with the early changes they are the contact flattening cooling of the body and post mortem staining or liver mortis the cooling of the body is also known as elgar mortis and post mortem staining as liver mortis and rigor mortis which is the post mortem stiffening so these are the changes which appear early they are called early that is for few hours after death contact flattening cooling of the body elgar mortis post mortem staining or liver mortis and rigor mortis that is the post mortem stiffening now talking about the contact flattening body flattens over the areas which are in contact with the surface on which it is resting that body is resting on a surface and the areas which are in contact they will become flattened because of loss of muscle tone which allows those parts which are subjected to pressure because of the weight of the body they become flattened so when a corpse is lying on its back the contact flattening will, will be seen over shoulder blades buttocks and the calves because that is the posterior surface which is in contact with the surface on which it is lying on appearance of hypostasis that is the post mortem staining these areas are more readily demarked because the post mortem staining will be appearing in between the areas of contact flattening because the areas which is in contact they are flattened and because of the pressure the post mortem staining will not be seen there and it will be visible in the areas in between the contact flattening <clears throat> this is a model which is showing the back back of the shoulder back back of the buttocks which is with having contact flattening and in between the there is post mortem staining this is a picture of the corpse back of the shoulder back of the buttocks they are devoid of post mortem staining but areas are contact flattened now starting with the discussion on el elgar mortis or cooling of the dead body this is the early sign cooling of the dead body elgar mortis during life we know that the balance of temperature is maintained by the heat produced and heat loss but after death when heat production is stopped so only there is heat loss and this heat loss is gradual and there are basically we know there are three main ways by which the body loses heat normally radiation convection and conduction and after that conduction is not an important uh, factor during life we know that we are 
walking or we are standing and minimum area is in contact. But when we die, then conduction is the most important factor. So conduction is not an important factor of heat loss during life, but after death, body is lying on a cold ground or cold surface, it loses heat in a considerable amount by conduction. Disappearance of body warmth is one of the earliest sign of death. Low body temperature is a sign of either death or hypothermia. During life, normal body temperature is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit or 37 degree Celsius. And the body maintains this temperature for some time and the cooling of the inner core of the human body depends upon the loss of heat by conduction through surface layer and skin. So body maintains its core temperature for a certain period of time. Human body does not cool in accordance with the Newton's law of temperature or heat or cooling because the Newton says that law says that the rate of loss of heat anytime is directly proportional to the temperature difference between the surface of the object and the surrounding. This Newton's graph is of a simple type which is exponential type in the next picture I will be showing next slide, which will be showing a rapid fall initially followed by a slow progressive fall till the temperature matches the environment. So this is for the uh, metallic object. So this is an exponential type of graph. Initially there is a sudden fall as, as it approaches the environment the fall is slowed down. But the human body does not behave like a metallic object. Metallic object is uniform, made up of one material. But human body does not behave like metallic object because the human cadaver is composed of many types of tissues and organs having variable conductivity of heat. The covering of fat acts as an insulator and conducts heat poorly as compared to other tissues. The body surface cools more rapidly than the core or the center of the body. The central temperature remains unchanged for first few hours. So always the core temperature should be taken for the purpose of estimation of time since death. The rate of cooling of the body is generally accepted as the most dependable criteria for estimation time since death, especially for the first 12 to 18 hours. Now about the progression of cooling. This is the graph which is made by cooling of the dead body. That is the outer layer as we know, is 2.5 centimeter thick and have heat insulating property that is skin and the subcoating is fat. So relatively little cooling of the interior of the body takes place that is the uh, part A of this graph is showing. Initially the temperature is maintained and there is a uh, maintain, maintenance of temperature for some time. At this time, the preservation of body temperature might also be related to a small extent of chemical changes in the body which are taking place after death. Because the metallic object do not necessarily seed, cease at the moment of somatic death. The metabolic process, they do not cease because the anaerobic process goes on and this continuation of anaerobically production of heat continues for a, some period of time. And this can be, and this is an additional factor which contribute to the maintenance of the initial plateau. That is, the body temperature is initially maintained on the one aspect that the surface is having insulating properties 
skin and subcutaneous tissue. And secondarily, anaerobic glycogenolysis is going on, which is breaking down and producing heat. And this is because of post-mortem anaerobic glycogenolysis, which can produce heat about 140 calories which is sufficient to raise the body temperature to 2 degrees Celsius to 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit for the first three to four hours after death. That means the anaerobic glycogenolysis continues, which will be producing ATPs and heat production will be continued. So initial plateau, that is part A of this graph is because of this, insulating property and anaerobic glycogenolysis. Next, the part B of this uh, curve in the next six to nine hours as the skin temperature falls and the heat gradient is established from the pore to the skin surface. That is from interior of the body to the body surface, then the body start cooling. And there is rapid fall in uh, part B, we can see. Then after that, beyond 12 hours after death, the temperature of the skin is approaching to that of the environment, then the heat loss will be slow. So section C of this curve will be showing as slow heat loss. So this is a final uh, graph which we get in uh, human body that there is initial plateau then sudden fall and slow fall section C. So a parabolic curve is seen rather than the exponential type of metallic object. So this is the graph which is uh, made by human body cooling. So summary of this lecture is that we have started discussion on the early changes after death. That is, we have discussed the contact flattening and we have started discussion on the cooling of the body. And we have understood that the body have to cool become at environment temperature, but for a certain period of time, it maintains temperature because of the insulation property of the outer layer and anaerobic glycogen, which continues for some period of time till the glycogen reserves are there in the muscles. Then we will be discussing postmortem staining rigor mortis in the, in the next coming lectures. And in this lecture, we have concluded the contact plating and started discussion on the cooling of the body and discuss the progression of the cooling. So thank you very much. This is uh, all about today's lecture and we'll continue this discussion in the next lecture. Take care and bye-bye.